Welcome to the video. Here you'll get an introduction to the basic concepts of heat seeking missiles or heat seekers. Alpha to Bravo, incoming heat seeker. Avart, avart, avart. Heat seeking missiles use a guidance system called infrared homing, which is a passive guidance system. This means that it does not emit any electromagnetic waves, rather, it detects EM waves or infrared waves in particular. This makes them virtually untraceable. Now we will learn about how infrared radiation helps in tracking of an object. All bodies above the temperature of absolute zero emit electromagnetic radiation. Any body above temperature of 5 Kelvin emits infrared radiation. To detect such a hot body, measurement on the IR radiation emitted by it can be performed. Any hot body can be detected using a suitable detector. Such a detector when enclosed in a missile makes it a heat seeking missile. This can be used to track hot bodies like an aircraft or a vehicle. This makes aiming a less cumbersome process. Now we have a video which shows how an infrared detector looks like. Now an aircraft is just one source of IR radiation. One of the biggest sources is the sun itself. Another source is the earth surface which absorbs heat from the sun and re-emits it and also reflects IR radiation from the sun. Another source of IR radiation are the clouds, though the intensity is much less than that of the others. The wavelength of IR radiation emitted by the sun peaks at about 3 micrometer, while that of earth's surface peaks at about 10 micrometer. But the wavelength detector should focus on is that of the aircraft. IR radiation from the aircraft is mainly due to the following three sources. First is the plume, second is the absorbed heat from the sun and the third is the reflected sunlight by the aircraft. Among these, the major source of IR radiation is the plume which consists of exhaust gases and afterburner. The basic structure of the heat seeker is shown in the figure. It consists of three parts, a detector, the warhead and a guidance system. The detector is mounted on a gimbal which ensures that its motion is irrespective of the missile's motion. The field of view of the detector is usually 100 degree. When a hot object comes into the field of view, the detector sends an electrical signal to the guidance system which controls the trajectory of the missile. Certain devices are used in the missile to enable the proper detection. One such device is an optical filter. These are used to filter out unwanted wavelengths. If the wavelength range of the IR from the aircraft is known, we may construct a filter made of transparent layers whose total thickness is the desired wavelength by 4, so that the desired wavelength constructly interferes and all other wavelengths become negligible. Another such device is a reticle. These devices are placed between the filter and the detector. They are used to enable the calculation of relative position of two objects or to separate objects in the foreground and the background. The sign of reticles vary from missile to missile and is classified information. The given diagram gives a simple idea about some types of reticles. Reticle A is used to filter out the background IR radiations. If we treat the target as a point source, the consecutive transparent and opaque parts of the reticle will alternatively allow and block infrared radiations. But if the source is not a point source, the emitted IR will fall on the detector irrespective of this. Thus, the intensity of the point source will be lesser than that of the surrounding and thus can be filtered out. To explain the function of reticle B, we have made a simple animation. We can see that the angular positions of the red and the grey objects are different. Thus, when the reticle rotates, the periods for which they fall on the screen are different, as can be seen from the animation. This phase difference in the pulses can be quantified into their angular separation. Reticle C can be visualized as a combination of reticle A and B and performs the functionality of both. Now we come to the most important part of IR detection. The IR detection is detected by a semiconductor whose band gap between the valence and the conduction band matches with the energy carried by IR radiation. The semiconductor usually used are 
indium antimonide or mercury cadmium telluride. These are narrow band gap semiconductors. The important property that they have is that they are photovoltaic. That means that they generate an electrical signal based on the wavelength of incident in IR radiation. The detector is kept at very low temperature as otherwise the temperature of the electrons in the detector would swamp the effect of the detected IR radiation. We hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching.